What gave I you the idea it. of coming up with an uh, animated show? Well, they brought it to me. A one brother brought me the show. And when I first came in the house, because they came out and announced that there was the police, these two white guys coming in, and, and um, they explained they wanted me to do a show on um, Adult Swim. I had no idea what Adult Swim was, pretty much. I thought it was just some um, old rich white guy that would go to swim in this exotic lake or something, <laughs> like a coon, and become young and youthful or something. And uh, my wife explained to me that's not what it is, it's just what the swim is. And um, I wasn't interested in doing it, but when I saw the rough copy, then I, man, I thought it was incredible. And I said, wow, then my um, enthusiasm gets accelerated and I want to be a part of it. And I put so much effort in after that, but um, I'm really proud of that. The trailer's amazing. Every one of them has a message from someone that needs the help solving the mystery. Oh man, oh man, it's so dark. I can't see my hand in front of my face. Oh, shit. It's a chupacabra. He, he beat me with his mouth. Oh. Michael, why are you smiling? Because now I know what I have to do. I'm going to use my fist to beat the shit out of Chupacama. The only thing I've never beaten the shit out of yet. After doing a like, comedy like uh, like The Hangover, are you comfortable at this point in your life with people laughing with oh, you or listen, if I can say yeah, like, when at I, you? When I used to fight, you said something about the comedian made a statement, I would look like be hunting the comedian down. And um, I just had to take myself serious and that's just a part of growing up, you know. That, um, where, um, throughout the whole spectrum of this life, you know, we're so small, we're so minute and insignificant, but we think we're bigger than what we actually are, you know. And it's, <laughs> And it's hard not to because even though we're probably not think much about self, but we're all we think about. But um, I, you know, you just learn, you learn humbleness and time. Time is the best teacher. You're doing so many things. Like you did boxing and then you were in Hangover, and then you did the HBO special, which caught a lot of people's attention. I thought it was awesome. Thank you. And you, you it that. came back from Monaco yesterday. From, from the family, the whole family. You carry that over into the show, and I saw the trailer. Is the trailer what you envisioned, and are you really excited about it? The, the trailer is more than what I envisioned, because I thought it would be sm El Schmuckleville. But, uh, <laughs> but when I saw it, I said, whoa, and then I really got in, you know, involved and enthusiastic about it. I said, hey, let's do this over, man. I want to make sure it's done right. So we went and we've done some over there. I mean, so I didn't want to do it at first, and then I said, no, let's do that over. We're going to make it better. And uh, I mean, it's very grateful. So, you know, when you really think about the life I lived before, at the height of my career, I'm making 40, 30 million dollars a fight. Um, cartoons are going to touch me with a million foot pole, you know? And um, the fact that I'm at this stage in my life, um, and I'm doing cartoons, I'm doing international shows. And I don't know how I feel about you going away to college. Well, we have to talk about it at some point. I'm 18. 18? Where did the time go? I remember it like it was yesterday. You were just a little baby, but you told me, stop living for yourself. And um, let me say something that um, I haven't been humbled in a long time. Last time I've really been humbled when I was in prison, you know, like before. So I went to this um, school in um, Stockton. I went to Stockton. And um, I went to talk to some kids. And um, when I went in the room, it was a 10 by 8 screen, and the teacher had to explain to him, this is what I did before I did this acting stuff. None of them knew I ever fought before. <laughs> Whoa, I went in there, but I played a lot. Yeah, and my mother beat down for content. He said, oh, how easy. I'm thinking, I'm a god. These guys forgot me already. These guys don't know who I am. <laughs> and uh, that was really humbling. And I realized that um, life's about the moment, and it's not about the past. You know, the past is a good um, platform to, um, to live in the moment. But it's, it, it's just, um, you gotta keep living. You gotta keep living. I mean, learn from your experiences and allow your past to be great experiences. 
and you won't have to live through your past. Because I realized after that um, experience with the kid, there's no future in your past. You have to continue in your future and live the future. Start every day as a someone as a newcomer. This is new for me. This is me. I'm nobody special. I'm no Superman. But this is new. So we have to do the enthusiasm that we did in the past. We can't lose our enthusiasm and our desire to succeed in whatever we, um, you know, in the moment of succeeding with. Mike, I got, a, I, got a question. I got a question to ask you. You've talked about fighting. We saw the trailer. When you went in and read the script and you saw that you were fighting a T-Rex, come on. What, what was your <laughs> thought when you read that? Oh, shit. Well, and uh, it, it'll be a part of the movie when we're all in a, tr in a car and we fall off a cliff and then my my um, my um, adopted daughter, she goes, now we're gonna die, now we're gonna die. I said, no, we're not gonna die, because it's a fucking movie. <laughs> I said, it's a fucking cartoon. And that's why I look at it now, it's just a cartoon with the T-Rex. It's great. It's cool. a cartoon. Thanks, Thanks, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Make it quick. We got we got two more cameras. We got to get to it. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Yes, don't have no time for birthday. Just tell me one more time.